Do I pay $50 for a chainsaw chain? Well, you can pick one up for only $13. Today, we'll be testing 10 different brands of chainsaw chains. Additionally, we're gonna find out if a full chisel chain really cuts faster than a semi chisel. We're also gonna find out if a carbide tooth chain is actually any better than a regular chain. Well, let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. In the first test, we'll see how fast each chainsaw chain cuts through 12 four by fours. Then we'll see how fast the chainsaw chains cut after I use them for a full tank of fuel. We're also gonna see how fast they cut after we cut through some wood that has some dirt on it. Before we test chainsaw chains, some basic information. When it comes to chainsaw chains, there are three basic measurements. The chain pitch is the distance between three rivets divided by two. So three quarters of an inch divided by two equals three eighths of an inch pitch. The chain gauge is the width of the drive lengths and the third measurement is the number of drive lengths. All the brands we'll be testing are three eighths pitch, 0 .050 gauge, and 72 drive lengths. Directly in front of the cutter is the depth gauge, which controls the amount of wood removed by the cutter. You'll notice the top plate is tapered. As you sharpen the cutters, they become shorter and the depth gauge needs to be filed down in order for the cutters to do their job. At a price of only $12.99 is this Upstart brand. The Upstart is a full chisel chain, which has a 90 degree corner angle connecting the top and the side plate. The two most common type of chains are full and semi chisel chains. A full chisel chain top plate has a 90 degree corner angle and a semi chisel is rounded. Full chisel chains typically cut faster, but also dull a little bit faster if exposed to dirt. Eight of the 10 chains we'll be testing are full chisel chains. The cutter on the upstart seems to have a fairly well ground edge, but there are a couple of areas that could definitely benefit from some touch up work with the chainsaw sharpener. The chainsaw we'll be using for the testing is a EA5000P, which is a 50cc Makita chainsaw and makes about four horsepower. In the first event, I'll be applying some weight to the front of the chainsaw. And as the chainsaw is coming down, we definitely don't want these felling spikes interfering with the test results. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it for the first test. To make this an unbiased test, I'm going to add two and a half pounds of weight to the front of the saw and I'm not going to be applying any downward force on the saw handle during the test. So 13.32 seconds is the time to beat. Also at a price of $12.99 is this SunGator brand. The Sun Gator claims to use imported high-grade German steel. Unlike the Upstart, which is a full chisel, the Sun Gator uses a semi-chisel design. The Sun Gator is on the left and the Upstart is on the right. You can see the rounded top plate with the Sun Gator while the Upstart has a 90 degree turn. And the semi-chisel design is definitely a lot slower at 18.29 seconds. So the upstart holds on to the lead. At a price of $13.50 per chain is this Zentop brand. The Zentop is a full chisel chain. Just like the upstart, the cutter on the Zentop looks like it could use some touch-up work. And the Zen Top was almost a second slower than the Upstart at 14.21 seconds. At a price of $14.98 is this 810 brand. Original equipment quality, we're gonna test that. The cutter on the 810 brand definitely looks better than the other brands. Twelve point two eight seconds for the 810 brand, which is the fastest time yet and a full second faster than the Upstart. At a price of $15.49 is this Oregon brand, Lubertech Orling System. The Oregon is made in Canada. The cutter in the Oregon looks quite a bit sharper than the other brands, but it's not just that. The Oregon is on the left and the Zen Top is on the right. The cutter geometry on the Oregon is much more aggressive with a much more squared corner on the 90 degree turn. The Zen Top is also a full chisel chain, but it's more rounded than the Oregon. And the organ moves into the lead with 11.29 second cut, which is almost a full second faster than the 810. At a price of $15.69 is this Forrester brand. The Forrester is made in China. The cutter in the Forrester looks very sharp, but the organ seems to have a sharper edge and a more aggressive geometry. And the Forrester moves into third position with a 13.22 second time. At a price of $17.15 is this Husqvarna brand. The Husqvarna is made in Canada. Unlike most of the other brands, the Husqvarna is a safety chain. You can see the extra hump in the chain. The cutter on the Husqvarna looks sharper than most of the other brands.
And the Husqvarna moves into second position just behind the Oregon with a time of 12.91 seconds. At a price of $29.95 is this Carlton brand. The Carlton is not a safety chain. The Husqvarna is a safety chain. You can see the extra hump on the Husqvarna. There's no information on the Carlton packaging as to where the chain is made. The cutter on the Carlton looks just as sharp, but the geometry of the cutter doesn't look as aggressive. Fourteen point seven four seconds for the Carlton, which is quite a bit slower than most of the other brands. At a price of thirty one dollars and eighty cents, is this steel brand? The steel uses a full chisel chain. The steel chain seems to have the most aggressive geometry of all the brands. The cutter is very sharp, and the chisel's ninety degree turn is very squared. The steel is on the left, and the upstart is on the right. The steel definitely has a sharper chisel and a more aggressive cutter geometry. And the steel moves into the lead and is over a full second faster than the competition with a time of 10.2 seconds. At a price of $49.99 is this Forrester carbide tooth chain. The Forrester is made in China. It's a semi-chisel chain. The carbide cutter may look sharp, but it's also a lot larger cutter compared to the other chains, and it also has a less aggressive geometry. And the Forrester Carbide is the slowest chain yet with a time of 25.19 seconds. So the steel is the fastest at 10.2 seconds, Oregon 11.29, 810, 12.28 seconds, Husqvarna 12.91, and Forrester 13.22. That's actually a pretty fast cutting speed averaging around one second to cut through a single 4x4. So let's use each chain for a full tank of fuel and then we'll come back and test them again to see if they're just as fast. All the trees I'll be using for the testing were standing and still alive when they were cut down over the past four days. Several years ago, a windstorm caused the first tree to split, but it was held up by another tree and continued to stay alive. The dark area of the tree is tree rot and definitely not dirt. The new upstart chain is on the left. The chain held up very well and there's no visible damage from hitting rock, dirt, or any sort of embedded object. The size of the wood chip pile is already huge. By the time we get done, it's gonna be massive. After using the Sun Gator for a full tank of fuel, there's a small amount of visible wear from normal use. There's no visible damage to the Zen Top and the cutters are still in good condition. The Zen Top definitely seems a lot slower than the upstart. The log is getting very short, so I'm gonna to have to move the log around and see if we can keep cutting on it. This pile is getting huge. There's no visible damage to the 810 cutters. Wow, the Oregon is a really fast chain. It cuts a lot faster than the other brands. The Oregon chain is still in very good condition and the cutters are still very sharp. The cutters on the Forester are still in great shape. The cutter on the Husqvarna is still in great shape. The Carlton definitely doesn't seem as fast as the Oregon. There's no visible damage to the cutters on the Carlton. The cutters on the steel are still in very good shape and appear to be very sharp. The cutters on the Forrester Carbide are still in pretty good shape, but there's definitely a small amount of chipping that's taken place. We want this to be a fair test. We've inspected all the chains and there's no damage from hitting nails or any sort of embedded object. So let's test them again to see how they perform.
After using the chain for a full tank of fuel, it's over 4 seconds slower at 17.66 seconds. The new Sun Gator chain needed 18.29 seconds and is now about 4.5 seconds slower than new. The Zen Top started off at 14.21 seconds and slowed by about 3.5 seconds. The 810 brand made the cut in only 14.84 seconds and is the fastest time yet, only losing about 2.5 seconds from its original time. The new Oregon chain started off at 11.29 seconds and only slowed down by about 2.5 seconds to 13.74, the fastest time yet. The new Forester chain started off at 13.22 and made the second cut at 17.61, a loss of over 4 seconds. The new Hus Varna chain started off at 12.91 and only lost around 2 seconds for a 14.94 second finish. The Carlton started off at 14.74 and needed 18.55 seconds for the second cut, which is almost 4 seconds longer. The Steel started off as the fastest chain at 10.2 and remained the fastest at 12.59 seconds. The new Forester Carbide started off the slowest at 25.19 and needed over 5 seconds longer at 30.88 seconds for the second cut. So after using each chain for a full tank of fuel, the steel is still the fastest at 12.59 seconds, Oregon 13.74, 810 14.84 seconds, Husqvarna 14.94, and Forrester 17.61 seconds. I've doled a lot of chains and it's my own fault by allowing the chain to come into contact with the ground when cutting through logs or cutting through stumps that are close to the ground. So let's see if some of the chains stay sharper than others after cutting through sand. I'll first spread some wood glue over the 4x4s and then I'll spread some sand across the glue. I'm gonna allow this to dry for a couple days. The upstart uses a full chisel chain. Let's see how it holds up. Wow, that's a lot of damage to the cutter. The chain is in bad need of some sharpening. The Sun Gator uses a semi-chisel design which is supposed to hold up better than a full chisel chain. Just like the upstart, the Sun Gator looks pretty bad and really struggled to cut through the boards after coming in contact with the sand. It's pretty obvious that this test is going to damage all of the chains, so let's get past the other full chisel chains and take a look at how the Carbide Forester chain performs. And the carbide chain did do a lot better, but it's still quite a bit of damage to the chain. All right, now that we've gotten into a bunch of sand, let's see how long it takes to cut through a single 4x4. The new chains only needed around 10 to 15 seconds to cut through 12 4x4s, which is only about one second to cut through one 4x4. So let's see how long it takes them to cut through one 4x4 now. And the upstart needed 16.1 seconds, which is longer than it took to cut through 12 4x4s when the chain was new. Let's see if the semi-chisel design of the Sun Gator helped it do better. And the Sun Gator needed 13.32 seconds, which is still pretty bad, but faster than the upstart. Obviously, all of the full chisel chains are going to be really slow. So let's get past them for now, and let's take a look at the Forrester carbide chain. The new Forrester chain needed around 2 seconds to cut through one 4x4. 
4.78 seconds is the fastest time of all the chains, but it's still more than twice as long as the new chain. The Forester Carbide did by far the best, the Forester Full Chisel second, Zen Top third, 810 fourth, and Sun Gator fifth. However, none of the chains are sharp enough to provide good service. So the main takeaway for me is I need to do a better job avoiding dirt, since a couple of seconds of dirt exposure does more damage than using a chain for a full tank of fuel cutting through clean wood. The steel is definitely the fastest chain, but it's also about twice as expensive as some of the other brands. For that reason, I definitely like the Oregon the best. It seems like the best value chain, but I also like the Husqvarna and the A10. I was really surprised at how well the A10 performed. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. I really hope you have some video ideas for me. If you do, I hope you leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.